It's Vlogmas time, it's Vlogmas time, it's Vlogmas time again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, it's Vlogmas time again. You want more? Eh? Look at me, you want more? <laughs> you want more? EJ, you want more? Yes? You like it? Yes? <laughs> Drink the red. You want more? Eh? Look at me, you want more? <laughs> you want more? EJ, you want more? Yes? You like it? Yes? <laughs> Drink the red. So now that my sorrel is done for the kids, I'm just going to store this in this bottle here, in the refrigerator, so you don't know by Christmas come, this is going to be like fine wine. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Mm. So this is a one third cup, measure, measure and cup. One or two? I'll do two. I'll do two. I'll do two. Put a little more of that. I may have put a little more already. Beat me up now. Hi guys, this is Charlotte Wilson. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome to the vlog. Uh, welcome to the vlog. Uh, welcome to the vloggy vloggy vlog vlog vlog. Oh, how you guys are doing today? This morning, Saturday morning. Uh, yes. Uh, so you already know vlog master. So guys, on today's video. I'll be making some sorrel drink with all the good things them in it. All right. So guys, if you're interested in seeing how I make my sorrel drink, because everybody of them only could take on what they do. So if you're interested on in how I make mine, please continue watching the video. So to all my oldies but goodies, thank you guys for sticking around. And if you're a newbie, oh, welcome, oh, welcome. Oh, welcome so guys I'm gonna take you and show you what I'm gonna put in my sorrel drink you might want to use what I am using or you might want to omit a few things right like I said everybody have their own take on what they make and how they make it you see what I mean? so come on hey guys so these are the ingredients that I'll be using for my sorrel drink so we have some orange peel, ginger, cinnamon stick, cloves, allspice, which is pimento seed, and I also have some. So I'll be making some sorrel drink today, and these are the ingredients that I'll be using. I have some orange peel, cinnamon stick, ginger, of course, some pimento seed, which is allspice, some clove, also some star anise. I have the Jamaican overproof rum, some red label wine, sugar, and the three bags of sorrel, which um, they 
uh, they amount to like one pound which I didn't even realize it was so little but you know we have to use what we have so I'm gonna start by putting on some water and I'm gonna let that water boil with all these things here all right then I'm gonna wash my sorrel and all of them good things and just show the work one so let's do this I'm gonna clean up all of these things the ginger and everything and make on a so one so come over the stove with me now come on okay guys so i have this pot here my grandson gave me flowers this morning so i have this pot it's a large enough pot and i have i saved these bottles because i want to use them to make the sorrel and i need you know kind of precise measurement so this is a gallon bottle so I'm gonna pour two of this in here and get the stove going. And it looks like I might need three instead of just two. So one, one bottle bring me to about right here, so guys, so we need two more. Number two. So guys, two gallon bottle brought it up to right here, right? But knowing my family, they're going to drink it like there's no tomorrow. So I'm going to pour another half. By your know it, they're going to drink it like water. Plus I want to give a few friends a bottle or so. So, so by the time the water boil, guys, it's going to reduce and bring it right back to the two gallons that I need. Um, so I'm going to let this boil while I wash all my stuff which I had showed you guys already what I have. Some orange peel, ginger, cinnamon, pimento seed, cloves, and I'm also using star anise. Like I said, everybody put, take, put their own take on whatever they make. It don't matter what. There's Right about now, guys, there's no set way of how anything is made. It's how you like it, right? So everything is washed. So I'm just gonna put these in the pot while it's still cold you don't have to wait until it's um boiling before you put these in and this is like this is three cinnamon stick and about a half teaspoon of the allspice which is pimento and i have three pegs of star anise then this is roughly about six cloves so just I'm going to put everything in there like that and I'm going to beat my ginger. <clears throat> so I have this. What's cute girl? Yeah, where are your auntie shoes? Do you ever push them off the zipper? So guys, I beat my ginger. All of this is going in there. Thank you. So all the ginger you just saw me with is going in there, which it looks like it's about half pound of ginger. It's touch you. So like I said, guys, why I beat my ginger? Because you want the flavor to in, um, infuse the pot faster. If you leave it whole like this, yeah? If you leave it whole like this, guys, it's going to take longer to boil. And you're not going to get the full flavor where you want. And even with this amount that I'm using, it might still need some more ginger. Guys, if you realize you make your sorrel and there's not enough ginger flavor in it, all you have to do is blend up some more ginger and pour that juice in it. And if you're going through um, aggression problem, guys, this is... Can I speak? And if you're going through some... Go to your mother.
So, she and her brother are very spiteful. <laughs> so guys, if you're going through aggression problem, this is the perfect thing to help you alleviate all of that feeling. Just beat the hell out of the ginger. Alright, so all my ginger is beated. My cinnamon stick, my orange peel, pimento, anise, and all of the good things them. So, I'm going to leave this, make it boil guys you just uh, try flavor the water before you had your sorry all right I don't think if you put all this together the the water is gonna get flavored enough for the this so after you flavor your water and everything then you can add these in and leave it there to, to steep all right so when we come back next phase which is putting this in so this is the water with all the good things in it all right you can see say it are going like it one the pure things over there so and you're just gonna leave it just like that make it do pure things over there so it's amazing so maybe in the next 20 minutes this should come to a good look and all of them good things so guys the sorrel is, oops, the sorrel is here i used all three packs one was a uh, eight ounce the other one was a uh, four and a half ounce and the other one was 3.5 ounce and they sell both of them for the same price see how then see okay guys i'm gonna have the fire now And I'm gonna turn the stove off so you don't want this to boil okay what you want this to do is to steep not boil see that already see that's how I look for so I'm gonna leave this covered and make it do it magic Magic show, we're doing a you saw quick the water turn from brown to red. Big magic show we're doing over here. Who else can do the magic show here? Nobody but me. You know why? Nobody but me. Call me alone in my kitchen. Anybody who can make some. <laughs> So guys, I'm going to leave this, make it steep, the stove is off, I'm going to work, trust me when I come later and it's cool down, a uh, big, big business, big, big business. guys so i'm back i'm back from work and i'm about to deal with this sorrel because i want some to drink like tonight all right now all right so let's just jump into what's gonna happen so have a strainer where them buttons is going like so and it's first a fine one with so many in it for so cheap it was just $4.99 it's normally like eight dollars nine dollars only at Burlington finally so I'm gonna go wash these off all right I'm gonna use the big one first Mm, smells so good guys. Smells so good. Splash everywhere. See how nice and rich this looks guys? Look at this. See, look at that. That looks like wine. Dump it. 
Okay, nice and lovely. This is what I have. So it's not sweetening yet. I'm gonna put some sugar in it now. Guys, you wanna strain this as much as possible. So now it's time for you to add your sugar. I'm gonna use this brown sugar here, but you could use granulated sugar if that's what you have or that's what you wanna use. This is almost two pounds, not all the way there. So I have the sarin ready to go. I have sugar ready to go. And remember guys, sarin will take a lot of sugar. So don't even be eating a bad part of this one, okay? As I'm not sure if there's enough ginger in here, so I'm not gonna have my wine and warm it until I taste it with just the sugar to see if there is enough ginger. Let's say there's not enough ginger. I think they sell ginger liqueur. You could get that, you could put it in it, or they have the little ginger packets. stores like the Korean stores and stuff like that you could actually mix one of those out or two depending on how strong you want your ginger taste to be and add it in because them ginger here nowadays now nah, make no sense it don't even come in like them spend time in the earth for go okay so I'm gonna give it a taste and we're clean per usual So I'm barely tasting any ginger, but that's kind of nothing for right now. Like I said, you could have more ginger if you want to. So I added two packets of the ginger, and trust me, the flavor turn up after that, all right? So that's a solution. So when you put sugar, I have some more sugar over here. I need to have a rich, a rich yet, uh, oh, this is not a long one over here. So no long water over here put you some more sugar trust me now i'm not overdo it not this time i'm just letting you know it needs more sugar this is a long bucket uh, thing you could put as much or as little sugar as you want. It's your sarolina. When you're in your kitchen, you're the master. No one can tell you anything. They just gotta eat. Then the proof will be in the pudding. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it reached the where I think the sugar level is good. And uh, I am gonna add just uh, maybe half teaspoon of salt. Look how much I put, and it's thin enough. So guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Later, put not too much. It brings out the flavor. Don't question, just add. Sometimes I get lost in my food, you know, stirring and stirring and fussing and all these things. And don't remember that I have to edit these long videos. So, guys, it's for her. Tell me it have one. It have one. So, I am going to add some red label to this. I have my measuring cup over here. I might do two. Oh no guys, I wanna have the kids them drinks. I'm not gonna have that yet. I'm gonna pour out some for the kids first. I forgot. I'm gonna pour out the kids them one. Give me a minute. A little nutmeg. If you can't put cinnamon, why you can't put nutmeg? Logics, guys. Logics. I poured out the amount for the kids. And you want to strain this real good. Alright. 
So this is where old school come in. If you have a cheese cloth, you could use that. My grandmother used to have a little cheese cloth. This is a pour it over a little bucket and thing. And all them liquor particles that is left back. Now getting on my mother's grandmother's sorry. But new school, they have strainers. Um, this one is not so fine. They come with finer ones. You could use that. I picked this up last year from my local grocery store. And it discolored because I use it to um, strain stuff. Um, you don't want to put bleach on this. Alright, so you can soak it in some vinegar and water when you're done. Maybe to get rid of the color and thing. But it's food. Food has coloring in it, so it's going to get stained. All right, so I strain this two times with the strainer and this process guys is necessary. Do not skip this process though. You don't want to drink on that little thing here in the amount. You don't want to taste that. Okay, so I wash it out. It might seem like a lot of work, but it's going to be good in the end. The end result is going to be perfect. So now you want to strain this to that. So if you can find this guys, it's helpful, really helpful. No mess or not like that. It's just like a strainer but finer. It's a cheese cloth. Okay? The process might be slow but it's sure. Alright. So come look a closer. So mine is not looking so bad guys. The woolly pop pulp and thing is not so much in mine because I strained it like three times already with the strainer. But you can still see a little bit in this. You don't want that in your drinks. Alright? So just take that liquor extra time and get that done. I wish that I was a hero. This guys would be great if you have a funnel. So I just got on, but I can't find that one. So now that my sorrel is done for the kids, I'm just going to store this in this bottle here in the refrigerator so you don't know by Christmas come. This is going to be like fine or wine. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So half the go. Okay guys, so I got done with the sorrel for the kids. It's bottled up and right here. No liquor, anything like that. So I'm gonna go back to my red label wine now. And when I say it's for an adult, it's for adults. So I'm gonna put two cups of this. You wanna feel it when you drink it. Yes. So Mr. Ray over here, sir, and all I need is them. Mm. I don't know who bagger if I'm Mr. Ray or I'm never done. So this is a one third cup, measure measuring cup. Should I do one or two? One or two? I'll do two. I'll do two. I'll do two. All I want for Christmas is you. Yeah, yeah. By the time I've done the fumes, I don't drink me off. Um, 
Honestly, guys, I don't even taste nothing. I'm not lying. Let's have some more of that. I mean, I put a little more already. Beat me up now. Fine. This should be enough for the cake, which I'm about to bake. I don't know when. Maybe today. I don't know, guys. Maybe tonight or tomorrow. Since I'm in the kitchen, I might just wait, right? Shotgun. Don't drink and drive. Yes, yes. You got me on the phone too. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, people. Buckle up, time enough. But I'm not gonna do that process with you. It's too time consuming. It's too time consuming. So we're come off of this. Jump over that. Get it done and come back. Okay guys, so I got done making my sorrel drink a nice tasty fruity beverage that you drink during the Christmas season. You could have this with your Christmas dinner with a slice of black cake or anything like that around even a ham sandwich. All the way around, it's a tasty drink. So if you have never had this before, guys, you wanna try it. So I have a nice festive glass here, guys. So festive, it has glitter and all the jazz. I have some ice, I have some red label wine, Ray and Nephew, all that jazz that goes into this drink here, all my little spices over here. So let's pour you guys a glass. So if you don't get to chill your, um, your sorrel before and you could add a few cubes of ice because you want to drink this nice and cold. All right, so now you have your ice. You want to pour some of your sorrel and you could see that rich goodness. I'm not going to drink more than that because it has liquor in it. I also made a batch for the kids without liquor. So if you got kids, you want to consider your kids and not give them the one which was this. All right. So now that we have this, guys, you could see how refreshing this is going to be. I'm just going to have the other piece of ice. So that's it, guys. That's your drink right there. So if this is something you think you might want to try, guys, or if you're from the Caribbean, this is a drink that is a must on your Christmas table, dinner table, right? But if you're not from the Caribbean and someone offers you this drink, just know they put a lot of love in here for you, okay? So I'm gonna try this and let you tell you guys how it's tasted. So guys, to preserve the sorrel drink, you want to put a few a few grains of fermented seed or rice, all right? You don't want to put too much rice because then it will turn rice, sorrel, wine, okay? You don't want to put too much. Just a little bit, maybe a half a teaspoon or so. Yes, and you could this is a rice. For up to a so, whole year I'm signing off. Refrigerator, See ya. And it will definitely Summer. turn into sorrel wine. So, so now it's time to take a tasty taste. I'm not doing well. Me feel away. I feel away. Yes. I feel away. I think you should just 
Jesus kiss and do it. Oh, yes. look at it. I feel a way. Okay, guys, so I can't bother deal with these grandkids on their mouth. So I don't know kids in other house, so we're just going to taste it and call it a dip. So, here we go. My elbow dry it. Jesus. They're not saying I use lotion, man. Just drink this up. So it's time to taste this yumminess and this richness. You can hear the ice falling in on the glass, so let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, totito, totito. <laughs> Guys, I'm not tooting my own horn, but this yummy and dry bad trust me when I tell you that but I'm going to pop my own color mm. y'all have to try my recipe Fimi Fimi you hear me I tell you? try Fimi mm. 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 can't this one guy with the ones to eat it can you all imagine what this is gonna taste like next week when it preserves some more? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but man, tell her it tastes good right now. And look at the gal. Look at her legs. She got some legs on her. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! Woo! See you all next week. I mean. See you all tomorrow. That's the rare nephew talking. I think I might make some stew peas today. Some good, don't it? With a pig tail, I just stand up in there. And the pig that tail that comes from the side of the head. That I got down there, so. And also, I think I might make my black cake today. Hopefully, rain up going with me too bad. Mm. Listen, you don't taste that strong liquor in it, but you can taste it. Love it! <laughs> EJ! Look at his mouth with this. <laughs> Guys, through him light skin, the sorrel stay in his mouth. He's still eyes. Watch out! He's my eyes! <laughs> You're shy now all of a sudden. <laughs> Guys, room light skin. Good sorry, I'm still in mode. <laughs> you want more? Eh? Look at me. You want more? <laughs> you want more? EJ, you want more? Yes. You like it? Yes. <laughs> Drink the red. Look what the boy EJ do, people. Look what the boy EJ do. The boy EJ do this. Him not even not get good name. Hey, boy, come here. Come here. Okay. Look what the boy EJ do. Show where the wall I'm like, good, 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 sorry. Me not even drunk no more. Look how rich this sorrel is looking and it's spilling as well. I shouldn't let my sorrel spill like so. I don't know. This is wastage. That's how rich it is, you know. You could see it's not so runny. You know your sorrel good when it kind of sits on the surface and take it time and correlate please remember to go like share comment subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of every single time i put a new video up so until the next vlog enjoy
See you later.